Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFans. Yes. So in this quick video, we will see how to root the uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro or Pro Max suite in. So we in the previous videos, we have uh, uh, unlocked the bootloader and installed the custom recovery. In this case, we are having a orange box because it is supporting till Android 13 uh, de decryption. So yeah. I also have already have uh, enabled the USB debugging so we can just directly go ahead into with the process so we'll go to the computer now so in my computer I will first open the ADB fastboot tool uh, I will leave the link in this description so here I will type ADB devices sorry I have uh, formatted this one so <laughs> ADB is not enabled so I will just go to the settings and about phone and then I will tap it on AMI UA. Now I am developer. I am just uh, go to additional setting. And then we have the uh, developer option. From here I can uh, enable the USB debugging. So now it will ask for 10 seconds. So I will wait. So yeah. Okay. So now I have enabled this one. Uh, if I go to the system now, I will just type ADB devices here uh, it will ask uh, prompt the details so i will click ok so now uh, if, uh, now it is authorized so first now i will reboot to recovery so adb reboot uh, recovery so i will hit enter so now it will reboot to the uh, orange fox you can manually do this by uh, using the volume up and uh, power button here i am having this tool so i can easily do it so now we are in orange recovery uh, here first I need to download the Magisk manager Magisk manager and we will go into the Magisk manager.com or github so github is the official one I believe so Magisk 25.2 it is the latest one so I will download this apk uh, I will keep it in the root folder so here I have already uh, downloaded it and if I now go to my system my storage and all is visible now so use this orange fox recovery also it is uh, it is automatically decrypting it so that is great to know and in my archive data i have uh, downloaded this uh, this one so i will just uh, copy this entire folder to my uh, mobile or else you can use the adb side load which we have seen in the previous video here i will just use some different one so I have a root folder here. Also, if you would have noticed that we have an option directly inst to inst directly install the uh, Magisk from the Orange Fox recovery itself. So uh, do you want to go to Fox add-on and install a pre-built uh, Magisk? Okay. So the installation zip is... Uh, uh, file does not exist so exist so uh, uh, that is a different process i believe but here we will just uh, try to go to the uh, things that we have already tried so here i have the magis apk so some people have uh, in downloaded some uh, zip file or something and tried zip file won't work in um, uh, most of the cases so i have to use the apk file so i'll just uh, drag and drop this one so here uh, it is started uh, installing uh, also uh, one important thing that i would uh, like to uh, tell us uh, before you are installing this one make sure you take a backup of your uh, boot partition that will help you to revert back if you have uh, make any mistake or something so i should have shown that before so how you can do here you can go back up select new uh, I can do it in my internal storage only uh, new backup and you can just take a backup of your uh, boot partition that will eventually uh, have a revert option or something so you can just when if the boot loop are happening due to any modules or something you can just come to the recovery and directly restore the boot and boot uh, partition which doesn't delete any data in your mobile but at the same time it will uh, unroot your uh, device so yeah now we have rooted it i will just go to uh, reboot and the power system 
so that's all about uh, routing it uh, once it is booted we need to connect it to the internet and we need to install the magisk manager from the site so that we will do in a second or something okay we have booted into system successfully so now now i am unable to find the uh, magisk manager so here it should be there somewhere ah, here you can see it is not uh, fully uh, installed once you click it it will ask to uh, upgrade it just upgrade it and it also demands you to restart or something so that we will do it in a second or something i believe already lot of things are downloading in the back end so and I'll just enable the unknown source. Yes, I'm aware. Click OK. Update. So I'll just click open. So now we have successfully installed the Magisk. Uh, uh, here I will just uh, Magisk updated, open the tools. So both installed 22.5, uh, 25.2, and here also it is there. Uh, Magisk official on GitHub page. So here you can see this is very, very, very important. So you always have to download it from the their own official GitHub. So that is what uh, we have uh, did uh, in this video. So. Uh, make sure when when you download it you make sure you download it from the official github from top johan Wu, top john Wu, i think so now what i'm going to do is i am just going uh, to if you're having a banking apps and other stuffs uh, you can just uh, hide the magisk uh, from the banking apps uh, which i will try to upload it in the next video or something so yeah that's what about uh, routing the uh, device we now have uh, successfully routed i also can check the uh, root checker okay now we are in the root checker so i'll just get started and verify the root yeah magisk is now uh, giving this one so yeah we have uh, now uh, have the root successfully enabled so yeah that's what about this video thanks for watching code Patrol.